On occasion, some of us have taken time to walk through a cemetery. If you look close enough, you'll find that the tombstones provide an interesting look into the history of the community and its people. So much history, but as the years go by, some of those gravestones are almost illegible due to aging and neglect. Our John Last found two people in Northeast who are cleaning up stones one by one. It is this edition of The Last Word. It's a wonderful experience to walk through the Northeast Cemetery. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and it's quite beautiful. But there are some gravestones that are weather-worn and need to be cleaned. That's where Daryl Kidder and Carolyn McIntosh come in. They are a committee of two that comes out to the cemetery with pails, brushes, and a special cleaning solution. They scrub gravestones to remove mold, moss, and mildew. They want to make the stones beautiful again because to them, this cemetery is a special place. I think anybody that walks around the cemetery, you know, and sees these beautiful stones and the beautiful trees, I mean, you just fall in love with the place. Daryl and Carolyn have done wonders with some of the gravestones that were darkened by age and by nature. The before and after photographs are remarkable. What were once unsightly and discolored are now dignified and bright. The stories of who are underneath the stones can once again be seen and learned. I'm so curious, like, who is that person? When did they live? And, you know, what's the story? There's so much of their history on that stone and the stones beside them. No pun intended, but Daryl and Carolyn have decided to kill two birds with one stone. They decided to turn their gravestone cleaning work into a fundraising campaign for the Northeast Cemetery Chapel. The chapel is another piece of history at the cemetery. It was built in 1888 and was used to host viewing and religious services before funeral homes became popular. The building was even a place to store the deceased, who sometimes waited months to be buried. So yes, in, in the winter you would often have several bodies that you'd have to store that you could not, you were digging by hand, you could not dig in the frozen ground. Daryl and Carolyn are asking for a $25 donation for a gravestone cleaning, with proceeds going to a renovation project for the chapel. People can make a donation and ask that a relative's gravestone be cleaned. Or they can make a donation and have any stone cleaned. I tend to lean towards the children, the infants, or the mothers that died in childbirth, or Civil War veterans, uh, or just something that I don't know what it is, but I know it's old. So it's kind of fun picking out a grave. The grave cleaning campaign has begun. It is hoped that the renovations to the chapel can begin next year. With the last word at the Northeast Cemetery, John Last, Erie News Now. Nice work, John. Anyone interested in donating to the Gravestone Cleaning Campaign can find more information by just logging onto our website erienewsnow.com. Those good Samaritans are doing great work. And by the way, the oldest gravestone at that cemetery in Northeast dates back to 1802.